thanks for coming back to our ever busy you can too kitchen i'm gonna make some blueberry oatmeal and yogurt muffins um since starting this channel obviously we've been doing a lot of cakes and things and i haven't been doing incredibly well with slim world so i'm going to try and adapt recipes that i have that are more slim and well friendly but they're still going to be delicious they're still going to be fabulous if you're not on slim and world still give them a go because i promise you will enjoy them so as i say we're doing oatmeal blueberry and yogurt muffins tonight the first thing i'm going to do i need my oats and my yogurt to soak in together for a little while so i'm going to set those going so that I can get them soaking. So in my, in my bowl, I'm going to put 85 grams of just ordinary porridge oats. So I've got 85 grams of porridge oats in my bowl. To that, I'm going to add 240 mils, which is about eight fluid ounces of um, just plain natural yogurt. So that goes into my bowl with my porridge oats. And to that I'm going to add one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Two grams of plain flour. We use plain flour with um, muffins and add baking powder and bicarbonate of soda depending on the recipe some have baking powder and bicarbonate of soda some just have baking powder so bleh, some just have baking powder some just have bicarbonate of soda it depends on the recipe but i will make more muffins because they are incredibly easy to make and i find it unbelievable that the shops get away with charging the prices they do for them because they literally cost pennies. These are a more expensive version because they've got oats and yogurt and all the rest of it, but standard uh, muffins are so cheap to make. Right, so to my flour, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder this time. So that goes in. And the best way to combine those and save you having to um, sieve all your flour and everything, just whisk it. It aerates the flour, it combines all the ingredients and it's a much easier and less time consuming way of doing things. So that's that. Okay, back to my yoghurt mix. You can see actually it started to fluff up. That's just the oats absorbing some of the yoghurt and the bicarbonate of soda reacting in there. So to that, I have one beaten egg in my bowl. I'm just going to add that to my oats mix and mix that in. Now, because I'm doing the Slim and Well version, instead of sugar, I'm going to add sweetener. I will put the quantities for sugar so that if you want to do it without using the sweetener, you can use sugar instead. So, in the description, there will be the quantities for sugar, but I'm putting 10 tablespoons of sweetener. And again, I'm just going to gently stir that in. 10 tablespoons sounds like an awful lot, but blueberries can be quite sharp. And you've got the natural yogurt in there, so it's... And I'm going to be adding cork in this recipe instead of oil, because obviously on Slimming World, we're not supposed to have that much oil. But again, I'll put the quantities for the oil in the description. Okay, so to my oat mix, I'm adding 100 mils of skimmed milk and stirring that in. This will get quite loose looking now, but when you mix it with the flour, it'll thicken up and it should be a battery mix anyway. It's, it's not a, like a cake mix as such. Now, this is the stage where you would normally add oil, but I'm gonna give it a go with quark and see how we get on. So I want 90 mils of quark, which I'm just adding into my porridge oats mixture. And mix that in well. You mix your 
dry ingredients together, you mix your wet ingredients together, you then combine your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients. I'm just going to give that a quick stir and then I'm going to add my blueberries because they're frozen blueberries. Obviously I don't want obviously I don't want chunks of flour sticking to my blueberries, so I'm just mixing that yeah, in. Got 100 grams of frozen blueberries there. Buy frozen for this because fresh blueberries are a lot more expensive than frozen and frozen are perfectly fine for this. So they just go straight in. If your mixture looks too stiff, if you're not happy with it, you can add a little more milk. But again, as I say, because this is, in fact, I'm going to, because that looks too stiff for me. Okay, so. I will put the quantities that the recipe calls for in the uh, description. But as I say, if it looks too stiff for you, just add a little bit of milk, just do it by eye. more like a batter now you can see it's a very thick batter but it is a batter as opposed to a really stiff cake mix now all I do I've got a muffin tin here you do need muffin tins for these the little shallow tart you know like jam tart tins and that are nowhere near deep enough if you put these cupcakes into a tart tin they'll just open up and fall apart and you'll have mix all over your oven. The muffin tins and you will need the muffin cases they're just cupcakes cupcake cases or muffin cases and I think they're you know they're not expensive um, but they stop everything sticking and it means you're not going to mess around greasing everything so I'm now going to spoon my mixture into my muffin cases. Now I'm going to do about a tablespoon in each one to start with and see how we go. What you want is about sort of three quarters full, each cup about three quarters full. So that mix has yielded me 14 muffins. What I've done to make sure they cook better, cook evenly, I've taken the two middle ones out so the heat will penetrate out and cook those nicely. And I've just done a line down the middle of these so the heat can get all around these. These are going in the, in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 190 degrees C. Again, I'll put all the oven temperatures and everything in the description for you. So I'll pop these in the oven and we'll come back to them when they're cooked. So our muffins are out of the oven and they've actually turned out really delicious. Um, working the sin values out on them, using the recipe that I've used, they work out at about five sins each. So on your standard 15 sins, you could have three, three of these a day. Um, they really are very tasty, that works really, really well, I'm really pleased with those. Um, as I say, I will put the recipe for the sort of full fat version and the Slim and World version that I've tweaked. Uh, the only thing I will say guys is if you are doing the Slim and World version, spray your cupcake cases with Frylight first because um, they are sticking a little bit because there's no fat in the mixture as such. Um, you've taken the oil out and replaced it with a cork, so spray them with fry light and that should stop that problem. And that's about it for this video guys. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it gets you cooking really soon because you can too. Please, please, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a giveaway before Christmas, but we will only be doing it for subscribers. And sadly we can only do it in the UK because obviously being a food channel it's going to be a food giveaway. Um, like this video for us, tell your friends about us, share it as far and wide as you can and we hope you'll join us again really soon on You Can Too. Thanks for watching guys, bye!